Hi, Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Today talking about accessory dwelling units. Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Today talking about accessory dwelling units. You know, it, lately it's been a really hot topic. Since last year in 2000, September of 2018, Senate Bill 1069 was passed, which really opened up the possibilities for many people to be able to put accessory dwelling units on their properties, otherwise known as granny flats or in-law quarters, and, and to do them legally. In the past, there were a lot of people who put these units on properties illegally or non-conforming um, and just kind of slid it under the radar. Well, this Senate bill allowed for a lot of people to actually be able to do these legally now, which is going to be a huge benefit with our housing crisis that we have. What are they? Ultimately, it's converting either existing space on a current property, like a basement, an attic, an attached room, uh, perhaps with separate entrances, and or converting a garage or building a separate detached unit onto a property. Now, each of these types of properties are going to have different requirements, and each area that you live in are also going to have separate requirements as well. So each city, town, and uh, county may put specific restrictions on these accessory dwelling units. So, uh, but right now, these rules are still very much in flux, and we expect that these will continue to be in flux for the next, say, three to five years while this is really explored. There are a couple of requirements that you really want to watch for depending on which area you're looking at. One of which is some areas that require a homeowner to live in one of the two units, either the accessory unit, the smaller of the two, or the primary home. So you want to be aware if your jurisdiction is going to require that. There are some areas that do not allow short-term rentals, so anything less than a 30-day rental. Obviously, VRBO, Airbnb, these kinds of things may be restricted in these accessory dwelling units. The state mandates that the build size can only be between 1,500 and 1,200 square feet. So and again, each area may be different and a max or minimum size may be different depending on what city or county you live in. Some of the other things that you want to look at is what kind of fees are being charged. Some cities are looking at this as an opportunity to be able to make some additional money. If you live near the beach, you want to look at if there's any kind of coastal restrictions, uh, as that can be a limiting factor in building an ADU. Some areas you cannot build a two-bedroom, so you want to be sure that if that's something you want to do, that you have the ability to do that. And parking requirements are especially big in some of these more dense areas as well. One of the basic requirements is that generally it can't be more than 50% of your primary home as well. So these are just some things you want to think about when planning or looking into doing an accessory dwelling unit on a property. Some of the things you also want to look at is what are your goals with this? Are you looking to have extra income? Are you looking to have an adult child or elderly parents live with you but maybe not necessarily under the exact same roof? And maybe this is a future home for yourself. So you want to build an additional unit on and downsize into the smaller unit while creating rental income. Um, or perhaps you're looking at adding on uh, before you sell a property. So essentially making a flip type property. In finding that property, if you're not already looking at converting an existing property, there are some things that you want to look at in addition to the regulations. Sometimes it's going to be the property that you already own, or sometimes it's going to be a new property that you're going to purchase. You want to look and make sure that it's a single family resident zoning, and you also want to look and see what kind of garage it has. Now, a garage is one of the easiest and least expensive conversions that you can do to create the accessory dwelling unit. Now, obviously, in some of the areas where there's parking restrictions, they're not going to allow garage conversions. However, doing a garage conversion can cost around 90 to 100,000. So that is the most cost effective uh, way to do this. The other thing you can look at is in your in your lot size, do you have enough space to build this additional unit? And this is again something you want to check with your local jurisdiction. And 
Is the neighborhood walkable? Is it uh, close to easy transportation? Shops, restaurants, parks. Obviously, the nicer the neighborhood, the higher the rent you're going to be able to charge if you're going to rent that unit out. Um, a standalone unit, if you want to build one onto the property, is probably going to cost you somewhere in the ballpark of $150,000 on up. Again, depending upon your specific requirements of that unit. Um, one of the tricky things that we are seeing is that there's really not a set value on how much more this is going to bring to your property as of this point. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of historical value. There's not a lot of these other units available right now. And an appraiser may compare it to a duplex, but overall, uh, we will start to see this happen more and more frequently as the years come. And so it will add the additional value. The real value can be is if you are going to rent this property out, really in your return on your investment. So let's say you spend $150,000 to build the property and you're getting rents of say $1,700 a month for a two bedroom that you build in a standard standalone in the backyard. So over time, of course, this would be a long-term great investment. If you have any other questions or if you want to talk to us more about finding a property that has good ADU potential, give us a call. You can reach me at 562-316-2915 or you can email me at melinda at Thanks so much for watching and please feel free to forward and share this with your friends.